So I feel super lucky today because I'm at Dr. Jason Emmer's office and I'm not really a person that generally uh, puts fillers in or gets Botox, but I can't, he came up with a game plan, especially after I saw many of his befores and afters. So this is my before and I'm really excited because we have a game plan three, six months out and I'm excited to start my journey today. We are going to do just a little bit of Botox to just brighten my patient's day. And it's very important, especially with Botox on patients that have thinner skin and that it's placed appropriately because if you stop the movement of these muscles that are holding up the skin, then it drops and it makes it look bad. So we're going to just soften lines in certain areas. For her, biggest thing is she wants a nice little brow lift, just a subtle improvement in the wrinkles of her forehead. Raise up for us so we can see. Nothing bad, just a subtle bit. Smile as big as you can. She's got a gorgeous smile, but she gets a little of these lines right here, so we're gonna soften those. And then the one big thing we've been talking about lately, I know everyone went crazy about our Friday post about pebbly chin and the um, gummy smile. And we got a lot of um, thank you guys for all the DMs about our great results from that gummy smile. But I'm gonna show you the pebbly chin bothers a lot of patients that's textural issues it's also shrinking of the uh, collagen in that area making the muscle show a little bit through the skin so by putting a little Botox there we soften the area and then you can laser on top of it and get much more improvement biggest thing is there's a muscle right here that controls the lips so if you go a little bit to one way or the other the person's gonna be drooling for three months so you want to make sure that you don't do that inappropriately okay so and then lastly, if she's smiling, which is perfect, you can see these little bunny lines. Those to me, I think are really cute, but some people like them to be softened a little bit. So we're gonna soften a little bit of those bunny lines. So our initial point for a squeeze in, show them those 11 lines, nothing too crazy, but we're just gonna do a subtle lift. So relax. And we're gonna do a little injection, one, two, three, until people feels like a little bug bite. So we're doing little injections here, one, two, three, right into the area that as the procerus and the corrugator squeeze in again. Good, relax. We're gonna grab that muscle. We're gonna go right onto the, into that muscle and just give a little small bit, squeeze again, relax, good. She's got what we, a little bit more wider of a muscle, so I think it's important to inject appropriately. Squeeze again, good, relax. Just gonna do a little bit more into that glabella there. Good, and that will give us a nice little arch in the center. But then our goal is to get a little bit of lifting. Patients that have softer skin, you see how you can see these veins, especially through thin skin. We stretch out the skin here and you can see the vein. You do not want to hit the vein with the Botox, okay? Because we don't want to cause a huge bruise. So smile as big as you can. We're going to follow the bricularis all the way down from the top of the brow, the edge of the brow. Good, nice, relax, perfect. And then we're going to come right below the vein and give a little bit through that area. And smile again. Okay, relax, perfect. Then we're gonna go to the edge of the muscle and do just a little bit right there and we'll get a nice spread. It'll be very, very even. And she'll, nice, she'll also get a little bit of a brow lift because we're going a little higher to the superior edge of the orbicularis. Smile again. Okay, relax, perfect. And remember, I, I tell people I call this sometimes the matzo ball technique. You do a big little bleb right here in the skin and then we push it down we're going to do again one more little pinch right here at the edge of the brow good at the edge of the eye and good we've now done the orbicularis through its entire motion plus a little bit at the edge of the brow to get her to lift raise up as big as you can perfect we're just going to follow the natural lines a little high just a little bit about one to two units per site site Okay, nothing crazy, just a little bit. We call this micro or baby Botox. Come towards me, squeeze up again, relax, perfect. We're gonna come down. Um, we're also gonna go a little high. We don't want any of these little blebs up top to show. If you do this nice and high like this, you're not gonna get a ripple effect up high and you're also not gonna drop the brow. And that little 10 units is gonna be nice and a subtle improvement. Raise up one more time. Great, I just wanna make sure a little high. Perfect, okay. So now we've softened the forehead. Squeeze your nose in as, as hard as you can. Perfect. Great. And what I usually do is a little tapping motion here and I go one, two, three. We just do a little pinch right there, a little blend. See? Right there on the muscle. Do that again. Show me the lines. Perfect. Relax. One, two, three. Little pinch right into the muscle. Good. Turn a little bit this way. Squeezing again. Let's see. I'm going to do a little tap. One, two, three. Little bleb right there. Perfect. We're all done. Is that painful or no? Yeah, that was not painful at all. 
your shaking uh, helps the pain. My little, t my little tick, anything. my little tick <laughs> helps. Okay. Helps a lot. And then, uh, thank you. And then the last part is you have someone smiles because they can. That allows you to see the width of the chin. And then I tell them, show me your lower teeth like this. Show me your lower teeth and you can see the real pebbles, okay? So we're gonna squeeze, show me your lower teeth again one more time. Perfect, relax. There's different ways to do this. I like to do this in little baby injections, very small little ones. You can do a couple big blebs. That's what a lot of people do in the textbook. Turn to me, show me again. Good. I kind of like to see the edge of it, just a little. And then we go a little higher and do a couple little blebs, somewhere four to eight units, nothing crazy. Good. And that's it. That was great. And so that's that's the Botox in a subtle improvement. And again, I got it. You're, nothing's wrong. And you can see no bruising, uh, not many, not much significant swelling. If you do get swelling in these little points, you can press them down. They should go down within a few hours. And then we see the results in about 10 to 14 days, and it should last somewhere between two and four months, depending on who you are. If you're somebody that makes a lot of expression, you work out a lot, you get mad at somebody at home all the time you might need your Botox more often. But if you chill out, you take it easy, you don't work those muscles as much, it might last three to four months. So that's it, how was it? Perfect, thank you All so done. much. All done, we'll see it in two weeks. So first steps over with Dr. Emmer. I had the greatest experience with my Botox. It's been a few days now and I'm already loving the results, especially what he did here in this area and made the eyes pop. And it's on to my next steps uh, in my treatment plan, which he has picked out, which I'm really looking forward to because I love Dr. Emmer and I love the staff here.